Textile, while not technically a widget, pairs with widgets like colorful wrapping paper around a birthday present. Textile is one of those it does what it says on the tin classes, since it, you know, styles text. To get started, take a text widget in one of your apps and add a style parameter. By itself, this won't do anything, so supply any of the textile constructor's 26 parameters to really get the party started. Wait, 26 parameters? That'd be an awful lot to specify every time. Have no fear. There are multiple ways to get a hold of textile instances pre-calibrated to your app's branding. The most common way to get a textile value isn't by creating a new one, but instead by accessing your app's theme, which you define elsewhere. And if your current purposes require something slightly different, don't start from scratch. Grab the closest textile and modify it with copy with. Of course, if you find yourself continually making the same modifications, consider adding a new permanent textile to your theme using theme extensions. And what if you provide a fresh textile value and only specify a few parameters, like, say, color, but leave all the others blank? In that case, what happens next depends on a few things. If you have a material widget in your ancestral line, then your text widget will merge your partial textile with a default textile provided by your theme. However, if you're not using material widgets, then you see the default red and yellow error theme merged with whatever values you did override. In this case, the most common cause is having forgotten to add a scaffold to your current route. Textile can do everything you're used to from HTML, Google Docs, or any other text editor, and few Flutter developers get far without learning its basics. For more info on Flutter, head to flutter.dev.